Is this function continuous on 0, 1? Yes, it is. Is this function continuous on 0, 1? It's continuous everywhere. Yes, it is. Is this function continuous 1, 1, 2? Yes, it will not be continuous at 0, so we are safe. Always, always for the definite integral. Okay, good. So what do you think our substitution should be? Let's say t equals this time. Let. Agreed. Let t be what? What is the problem here? What do you think? Either the one over x. Yes. Yes. I think Gray said it's a function inside a function. That's the problem. This is our problem. This piece is the problem. But remember, I need dt. If I can find dt, then I can continue. dt. That's why I insisted for us to remember what is 1 over x prime. So we don't have to mess with it. Is it, um, is it natural log of we are not the integrating. Value of we are not integrating. Oh. We are differentiating. I know it's confusing. I'm with you. Agreed. Hundred percent. For dt, we have is to. It, is it negative one over x squared dx? Awesome. Perfect. So look at this. I have one over x squared dx but I don't have the minus. Oh, no problem. Oh, let me use a different color. No problem. Multiplying twice by negative 1 is not going to do anything to anything. So then, jumping over all this, negative outside, this, with this, and with this negative 1 over x squared times dx. These three pieces are here in dt. Can anyone replace this for us? So I can write it here. You cannot write anything with x. x is gone. Everything is changed now. To the power of t. Yes. And now stop. Be careful, careful. When x is 1, how much is t? One. Perfect. The upper limit when x is 2, how much is t? Perfect. Negative. What function prime is e to t? e to t. e to t. Awesome. So this is negative e to 1 half minus e to the first. Yes, you can distribute that negative because there are too many negatives in here. And just reverse e uh, minus, if you want to write this as the square of e, it's fine too. This is it. OK, so let's choose another. I'm, I'm a little bit confused about Let's take a one look. step. Yes? I'm a little bit confused about the step from E, where it's like where you put the two negatives and then they all like canceled out or something like that. No. The negative 1 over x squared is here. Negative 1 over x squared times dx. These three pieces are in dt. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. They are in dt. Okay. I think that the only leftover is e to t. Okay. But I still have to copy the negative in front. This was incorporated in here in dt, but this one has to stay. Better? Yeah, that makes more sense. Good. So let's see if we want to choose something else.
I want to choose 72. The integral from negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 x to the fourth sine x dx. Is this function continuous? Yes, always continuous. But now I notice something very important. I notice symmetric interval. Whenever I notice a symmetric interval, I ask myself odd, even, or none of the above. So can anyone tell us whether x to the fourth is odd or even? It's like x squared. Is it odd or even? What about sine? Odd or even? Odd. Yes. So therefore, the whole thing is odd. So, what is the answer? Zero. Thank you. Can we talk about why it's all odd? Is it just that's true in any case? If it's in any case, yes, yes. Okay. If it's a product. Okay. If it's a sum, it's a different story. Or could be a different story. Okay, I want to look at uh, also at 66. And 66 is the integral from 0 to 1, e to the x, 1 plus e to 2x dx. Okay, perfect. Continuous, yes. On 0 to 1, yes. This is always greater than 1. 1 plus that is never going to be 0. Good. So what is the problem now in here? 1 plus e to the 2x, or maybe just uh, e to the So uh, it's a very good point. A very good point. So sometimes we may find two substitutions that work. So it's very possible, or more than two, who knows? So that it will be fine. So let's try that. Why not? Let's say u equals 1 plus e to 2x. Let's give it a shot. If it's not, then we'll come back to the drawing board and find another substitution. We'll know very soon whether it's working or not. So basically, if we can find a du, then we are in good, good shape. What about du? Can any, without du, I can continue. Because I need to change this into an integral with du. If I don't have du, then I'm stuck. Wouldn't it be e x dx? e to 2x times the inner function prime. Two. Uh-huh, dx. So I'm having a difficulty. So do you, I can make up a number, but I can make up e to 2x. So it's not the right substitution. It's OK. It's OK. That's how we learn, right? We try and we say, no, nope. uh, no, it's not working. So let's try something else. Let's say. Let y be e to the x. Can you explain again why it won't work? Because I I can't I can make the du. I mean, you could solve this e to two x for e yeah. So we could. So we could change this e to 2x into u minus 1, but it will be a little bit more complicated to get where we are going. So you could. But let me just try what I was having in mind. y being e to, two, e to x will be, give us dy equals e to the x dx, which is awesome. Why am I saying that that's awesome? It's because I have it here, right here. 
It's already in the problem. I don't even need a constant to make up as a factor. So it's already here. So this is dy. Um, so dy is in the problem. So 1 over 1 plus, well, e to 2x is e squared, right? So this would be 1 plus y squared. So it's so much easier. So this was... This it's possible we can go go you know and and try it, but this is so much easier. So e to t, e to the x dx is the dy. One plus one plus e squared. Remember this is e to the x squared. Same thing. So this is one plus y squared. Now the limits of integration are crucial. If you copy zero to one, it's a tragedy. So when x is 0, how much is y? Anyone? When x is 0, how much is y? 1. Perfect, awesome. When x is 1, how much is y? E. Excellent. Good. So now I have a function from 1 to e. Can anyone tell us what function prime is this? Yes. Perfect. I plug in e and minus when I plug in 1, which will be pi over 4. Excellent. So again, this will work, but it's much more I need more steps. Okay, that's the easiest. Now I would like to talk about, and then we'll stop. So integrals are of two types. One that we discussed all the time, definite. And we know that this, the result is a number. Always, always. We always got a number whatever it was, arctangent e minus pi over 4, this is a number. There was no x in it or variable. And the other one is the something called indefinite. The indefinite is the same with the most general antiderivative. Antiderivative. That's it. So let's go to indefinite and let's choose. Let's start uh, with something simple. Um, like 17. The integral from cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta d theta. So, what is the problem here? And the problem is not the numerator. The problem is the denominator because it has two terms and I cannot simplify anything that has two terms like that. So we're going to set, let t be what? What do you think? One plus sine theta. That's it. As long as dt is easy to come up with and easy to put in. I was wondering why couldn't you simplify with the two terms in the bottom? Why wouldn't that have to be possible? Uh, 1 over a plus b is fixed. No one can touch oh, okay, this. That means, yeah, thank you. Although, I have to tell you, it broke my heart. My Calculus 2 class wrote this. That's horrible, wow. Thank That's you. That's awful. Thank you. So sad. Thank you. You made my day. You made my day. Thank you. Good. Can anyone give us DT? Cosine 
No, come, please, please, I'm begging you. Yes. Good. Perfect. Awesome. It's right there. It's right in front of me. Here it is. DT. So now, can anyone change the integral for us? And yay, there are no limits of integration. We don't have to change anything else. Uh, but we have to go back to the original variable, though, this time. So can anyone replace this in terms of t? Isn't it just dt over dt? dt over? t. Exactly. Dt. Awesome. And now, final answer. And of course, which function prime is 1 over t. Natural log t. One thing we have to remember is that in the indefinite integrals, we have to go back to the variable given to us. So I have to replace the t by 1 plus sine theta plus a constant c. We never do this here because this is a number no matter what. If you solve it using x or t or z or w, it doesn't matter. This number will always be the same. But for the indefinite integrals, the answer has to be given in the variable that we had originally. Good. So let's choose anything else. Anything else you'd like? Anything that catches your eye? Anything. In the last question, yes. what happened to the the D? I, and this might be a silly question, but like if it's DT over T, I know you can't simplify that into you can't like X out the D, the T's in this have D, but like how would that how is that equal to natural log T? So the most general antiderivative is a function whose derivative is 1 over t. When the integral disappears, dt has to disappear with it. Oh, OK. That makes sense. Good. So yeah. let's, let's choose anything else. Could you do 23? Yes, 23 is a good one. I don't even know where it is. OK, I see. <laughs> They're all good. OK, I'm on page 14. And you said 23. The integral from a plus bx squared over the square root of 3ax plus bx to the third dx. Good. Perfect. Good. Again, the same thing. This is the issue because I can't simplify it. Well, let's say 3ax plus bx to the third. And du has to be 3a plus 3bx squared dx. Professor, you're still screen sharing. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, so 3ax plus bx cubed. And u is this. du has to be. 3a, 3bx squared, of course, everything in parentheses dx. And I look and see, oh, no problem. I can factor out a 3 here. And all this is the du, but I need a 3 in front. OK. So 3. 3 times a plus bx squared times dx, all these three pieces are in du. So 1 third is outside. du is du. 1, 2, 3 pieces. And I have the square root of u in the denominator, or u to negative 1 half. So therefore, from here, I have 1 third 
u to negative one half plus one, so this is u to one half over one half plus a constant c. I have to flip two thirds, and this is the square root of u. All I have to do is copy it plus a constant c.